how did all of this get started? Because you know it's a pretty unique idea, but I, obviously a lot of work had to go into this. Absolutely. So we actually started back in 2019 of um, February. We opened a small store at Sherbrooke. Um, the idea was to rent out shelves for vendors to kind of pop up and um, be a place for people to find them. Um, obviously, pandemic happened and all that stuff. So we kind of had to pivot. We ended up um, just going online for a little bit. Uh, basically, throughout the pandemic, we were just online. Um, and then... Yeah, like this year we were able to finally do do it the way we had planned from the very beginning is like the idea is to be like a mini mall of local makers, local entrepreneurs, right? So if you come into our shop, you'll see like little mini shops within within our store. And they change all the time, right? So uh, we do have some permanent vendors and then weekly also um a few different vendors will show up. Okay. So how does it work? Are these like spaces that you kind of rent out? Do you buy these products? So, um, yeah, so basically we rent out the space and it's like, it's like having your own store. You keep hundred percent of your sales, you rent out the space. Um, we also have, um, other people who just can uh, be purchased wholesale. Um, so those are kind of the, the two ways we do it because not everybody could rent and be here all the time too. Yeah. So what's it like right now? You're in the middle of holiday shopping. I'm sure you're busy. Yes, we've been extremely busy. Um, way more support than we ever anticipated, which is awesome. Um, a lot of people that come in here have been following us for the last three, almost three years. So it's kind of cool that they've been with, on the same journey. <laughs> um, they've seen us grow. And even the makers that are with us, some have been with us from the very beginning. And, you know, we've pivoted, we've changed everything. We've gone back to like everything that we had to do. Um, we were able to do together, which is nice because it kind of keeps you keeps you going when you have people around you doing the same things. What's it like to be able to be in a position where you can help other local businesses highlight their best? Well, really, it's an honor to be able to do that. Um, it's a rare opportunity to to be able to help makers um, receive this kind of um, exposure um, and as a local uh, maker myself I would never would have been able to do it on my own so I really count it as a privilege to be able to uh, work together with these vendors and grow together yeah absolutely are there particular things that have stood out to you over the past uh, almost three years um, always be ready for change <laughs> um no matter, no matter what, there's always a way to pivot, a way to make it work and just keep going. Um, and yeah, if you just keep working at it, it'll, it'll come. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know, like for people visiting your store, if they come specifically, or is it something that when they're cruising around the mall, they notice? I think it's definitely a little bit of both. Because we have so many vendors with us here, we kind of pull our following together, right? So it's cool. One person will go for one vendor and then they'll check out the whole the whole store. Um, so that's been really nice. And of course, being at the Outland Mall, we get a lot of traffic, uh, foot traffic. Um, so that and we've also been getting a lot of press lately. So that's also bringing in traffic. And I feel like a lot of people are more um, are trying to shop local more, which is amazing. And being a place in a mall like this, it's easier for them to, to be able to do that. Have you noticed if there's been a bit of a push for shopping local this year, or do you think that's all connected to the pandemic or Christmas? Um, so absolutely. <laughs> there's been a big push for shopping local, but at the same time, 
um, the pandemic kind of helped people realize that, you know, um, you should really be supporting the community and just everything that you get from shopping local, from um, quality all the way to customer service. It's just different. So um, I feel like the pandemic helped, but I feel like it's becoming more of a lifestyle for people to pursue shopping local. I'm like, this is your first Christmas in the spot, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We were supposed to be here last year, but well, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> How many people did you get this weekend? Uh, for sorry for yeah how many people came into your store this weekend oh god I can't I don't know <laughs> <laughs> this weekend by far has been the busiest weekend we've had since we started here in November 1st um, all I know is all my staff were exhausted <laughs> by the end of the day and my vendors were also exhausted but in a good way so I wish I had a count but unfortunately I have no idea <laughs> Yeah, that's totally fair. Well, thanks for taking time to talk to me about this. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Bye.